Good morning and welcome to Sew Art Fill Stitches tutorial by Stephanie DeWolf. I am going to show you how to do basic design and then turn it into um, and, and fill it with a pretty stitch. Sorry. So I'm just going to go on the internet and I really like I like all kinds of stuff, but let's do a cat silhouette. Oops, I can't spell today. So I like to go get a cat silhouette. There's images. Now if you're not selling these, play all day. If you're selling them, make sure that you're going into their copyright and you know that they're okay with you taking their image. So I like this one. No. Whiskers are kind of hard to do if you're doing a silhouette. It'll fill them in, but it'll kind of chop it up a little bit. So how about this guy? He's kind of cute and fat and there's not a lot to it. So I just copy the image right in the sew art. It's pretty awesome. So I already had sew art opened. Um, and you go into edit and then you click paste and it puts your kitty cat in there. Okay. And then my favorite thing to do always is to resize the image and make sure that it's under 95. And this one is, I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller so it stitches a little bit faster. Um, also, if I, I didn't mention it in my last video, but um, a lot of people who are new to sew art, they want to go straight to doing logos and things like that. And, and, uh, you really should start out doing silhouettes and just simple fill stitch designs and stuff like that. Um, it helps you kind of get the hang of it. Doing logos can really discourage people if you do things with too many color changes or, you know, I like to keep my color changes under 10 because I have one single spool and it's just overwhelming to have to constantly change. Um, and also if you're doing something with a lot of different changes and colors and um, things aren't really blocky like this. It'll do a lot of the jump stitches that everybody hates. So those are just some some ideas to kind of avoid that to begin with. You can get into doing logos later when you're better. I'm still not there yet. I'm still playing with the silhouettes, but I understand how frustrating it is trying to do something. I try to do a picture of a dog that should have been pretty easy, but because there's so many things going on, I couldn't do it. Um, so anyways, so there's a crop button. I don't really need a crop, so I'm not going to mess with it. There's a posturize button that's great, but we don't really need to since it's just one color. Posturize will kind of blur everything together. It makes things really, really cool, um, but you don't want to use it for everything. Here's the image wizard, which is really great, but again, you don't need it for this. There's so much stuff that you get to skip if you just go straight to doing silhouettes. So color reduction is something that's the number one besides resizing. So I guess it's number two. So on here, even though to me and you, that is very obviously a black and white image, when it gets brought into sew art, it grabs all the image colors that it could possibly have had from where we copied it from. And so it's actually 64 colors. So we're going to take that color reduction and we're going to bring it down to two colors because that's all it really is, right? So if you keep it at 64 and you go in and you try to do the fill, it's only going to fill part of that. And then the rest of it's going to be just a shade darker black, just a shade darker gray. So you just want to reduce your colors. It makes everything much easier. Um, so you can do all kinds of different stuff with the brush tool. Can't really see that. Well, you can't really see it anyways, but there's a brush, pencil, the fill tool. It's kind of cool. We can change the color hot pink or purple or pretty blue. I think I'm going to make it like the ocean blue. There we go. That's pretty. It doesn't really matter because the thread I'm going to use is white. <laughs> um, well, it's kind of cream color, but it's pretty. Okay, so once we're done with all that stuff, there's an eraser. So if I want to get rid of the tail or one of the ears or something, I don't. But if I did, I could. Um, there's shapes. So if we wanted to go in and 
do a simple heart shape inside the kitty cat. Remember, simple is the key. Let's make that, let's make it light pink. So we're just going to use our bucket and fill in both. So now there's actually four colors. No, three colors. There's white, which is the background. That's how it's going to choose it. Um, the cat color and the little heart. So, oops, I don't know what I just pushed. Get out of there. No, I don't need to merge. Okay, color reduction. So now it shows three on the color reduction. Okay, so we don't really have to convert to red work. I haven't done any of that kind of stuff yet. So I don't know what that does. I'm excited to learn it though. Um, stitch image is the very next spot. That's where we're going. The whole point of this tutorial was to show you the different stitch images that they or the fill stitches that they have. So you go to your stitch image and you click your fill button. And over here there's going to be outline border, outline center line, applique border, applique center line. And then right here there's this drop down menu and it's already set at 19 default number one. So that's going to be your pretty regular fill stitch that's on everything. Um, so we want to fill in the cat first and then the heart so that the heart can sit on top of the other thread. So inside of here in your drop down menu and they've also uh, in the options or in the tools it gives you the ability to create your own fill stitch patterns. So here's an arrow pattern. I can click on the cat and it's you can't really see it, I don't think, but it's very faint even in here. Maybe you can see it. So that's the pattern that it'll fill if I choose that. And now there's tons of them. There's arrows, bats, birds, bow tie, brick, cable. The cable stitches are really gorgeous. I really actually like those. Um, I think I'm going to do that to the cat. So you can just go right over the one that you had. You don't have to clear stitches because you're just checking out the fill. So they have all kinds of different ones. You can even put a clown inside the cat. Um, the diamond stitches are really pretty. There's a duck. That actually looks more like a goose. Like a quacking goose. Um, but anyways, there's you can add fur. I can just put fur on the cat and it will you know, put in a fur stitch. I'm kind of funky, so I like to have different, different kind of stuff in there. I think I'm going to go with, I really like the Morocco designs too, but I'm a sucker for that cable stitch to be honest with you. The cables or any of the diamond stitches are my favorite. Okay, so now for the heart, we don't want something as intricate as the or no, we do. We want more intricacy in the smaller ones. In the bigger ones, you can do stuff that's, you know, how it's spaced. There's a D there, and then a big old space and a D. You don't really want to do it on the smaller of the of your project because it's not going to show up. It just, it will just put thread there, and you'll maybe get part of the D. Um, so on the smaller ones, you do the more intricate things like, see how the diamond is separated? You don't want to worry about that. Um, but this one is a little bit closer together, so maybe we'll put that in there. Okay, so over here on your side, it should show only two, two stitches. Two movements, two jumps, two colors, two everything. You shouldn't have to have a bunch of anything. Okay, so from there, we're going to go over here and file, save right because we're just playing, we're going to save right into the computer. If you're planning on selling it, then you know there's a whole different way you have to go about doing that. Sorry about the camera. So um, you can want to go right into your removable disk and we're going to call this filled cat. Cable heart diamond. Now we remember what our, our settings were we want to come back and do the same cat again. So save and it gives us our little sew out up here kind of tells us what it is. Um, I'm going to
go ahead and print this up, not print it out, <laughs> stitch it out on my machine. And I'll show you how to get that onto your machine as well. Okay, so we just saved it onto the computer. We're gonna come over here, and this is on my SE425 that I have the um, USB hook cable hooked up to it. So everybody's came with one. Um, mine is just hooked right to my laptop all the time. I don't even think about it. It's just set up. I'll show you the setup. And I have my phone down there because it's what I have to view the GoPro on. So there's my computer. There's my or my sewing machine and their best friends. Um, and right here is the connection. Where they're all plugged into each other and the cords are in the back. So everything just goes right to it. Alright, so when you want to get your design that you just saved on your computer to, to the removable disk is what they call your machine. You click that button. It's going to bring up everything that you have saved on your machine. And we're going to just ignore everything that's already there. Those are cool, but we're going to do this cat. You press the one that you want, and then you press that button. That's the upload button. And then everything's good to go. Your little play button should be ready. I call it the play button, even though it's the start button. Because um, I like to push play. Alright, so it's going to stitch out the cat. And then it's going to stitch out the heart, and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, here is the final result. I had a couple weird things happen in between. I had a soda explode in my sewing room, so I had to clean that up. And then uh, two needles broke, but totally my fault. I went in to snip them while it was running, snip the cord this little pink cord and it broke and then the second one I didn't put in strong enough so I don't know why I'm telling you all that <laughs> in any case here's the the fill stitch it looks like it put a little bit of a gap there but I'm guessing that has to do with the stabilizer that it, it's not really stabilizer but the fabric that I'm choosing to use um, so you can see I don't know can you sorry I'm trying to put it in the light you can see the different fill stitches. Okay, so in the kitty, it's a really pretty cable stitch and has a really nice um, texture to it as well. And inside of the heart, it's kind of hard to tell, but you can tell it's a little bit different of a design. And it's like um, a diamond stitch, like if you were going to wear a sweater um, that has all the pretty um, knitting on it that makes some kind of cool textures. That's basically all this is. And there's a whole bunch of different fill stitches as well as a tool for you to figure out how to make your own fill stitches, which I'm really excited about. Alrighty, um, hope this was helpful. Have a great day. Bye guys.